Mexican drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman's transfer to a new prison near the U.S.-Mexico border is fueling speculation that he'll ultimately be extradited to the U.S. CBS News justice reporter Paula Reed is in our Washington bureau. Paula, what have you learned about the move? Elaine, this is a man who is known for elaborate prison escapes. While Mexican authorities say the move is part of a routine policy to rotate inmates for security reasons, it's of course much harder to plan an escape if you don't know how long you'll be in a specific location. Uh, Paula, does his transfer indicate an imminent extradition to the U.S.? No, even though this facility is close to the border, he's unlikely to be extradited anytime soon. The number one priority for his lawyers is to prevent him from being sent here because the U.S. has facilities that he won't be able to escape and very strong cases pending against him. Elaine, if he comes here, he will likely spend the rest of his life in prison. So his lawyers will continue to fight and the process could take over a year for Mexico to come to a final decision. Well, Paula, as you noted, there are a lot of cases pending against him. Where would he be tried? We've confirmed that cases from Texas and California have been submitted to Mexico for extradition, but the attorney general could ultimately decide to try him in another city with a similar case. There's a lot of factors to consider, including how old some of the cases are, which districts have witnesses who could testify, and also which office has the resources to take on this kind of defendant. And Paula, could he face the death penalty if convicted? No, he faces death penalty eligible charges here in the U.S., but under the terms of our agreement with Mexico, there would have to be assurances that capital punishment would not be pursued in order to get him here. All right, Paula Reed in Washington for us. Paula, thank you.